uh, the Pixel Buds A, uh, people are asking questions, even though that it's, you know, it's had a lot of its information leaked, even though that the uh, Google website pretty much gives you the specifications of it, people still ask a lot of questions. So I'm just like, okay, um, I'll be one of the probably 1,000 to 50,000 people that's going to answer this question. Uh, first of all, what are the significant differences between these, the Pixel Buds uh, versus the Pixel Buds A? What is the huge significant difference between them? Um, so one of the huge significant differences between them is the fact that this, this case wirelessly charges. Okay, um, Between the two cases, it is pretty much like the same construction build, but this case has it the ability to wirelessly charge. So I can place this on a, on a uh, Qi charger and it will charge up. Um, if I'm using my Pixel 5, I can do the reverse uh, wireless charging and place this on the back of the Pixel 5 and the Pixel 5 will charge it up. So um, that is one of the, the big major differences between them. Um, the build or the, the engineering of the Pixel Buds A um, they went ahead and went differently. I mean, sort of the same, but kind of differently uh, with the antennas that they use in the Pixel Buds A versus these Pixel Buds here that I have. These are the uh, the OG uh, true wireless Pixel Buds. So not like the other Pixel Buds that had the wires connected, which was actually the OG ones. These are the OG true wireless ones. Um, but... You know, what, one of the big things that, that Google kind of suffered stepping in into the, the, the truly wireless audio game is um, they heavily touted the uh, the connection between your buds and your Pixel device, the distance that you're able to be away from your device, and also, um, ah, no problem, Blaze, no problem at all, uh, but the distance you're able to be away from your device. And for some apparent reason, these things tend to kind of... Um, Connection issues just happens with them. Also, um, you know, draining a battery from each bud. I mean, I've seen all the problems that these things have, you know, which is the reason why that, you know, some people will be like, well, what do you use completely different from them? Um, hang on here. Where did it go? Did it go behind? I think it went behind. Hold on. Screen. Uh, I'm going to lift the pixel book here real quick. <laughs> Because uh, these things I pretty much just recently got and dropping everything all over the place. Ha, huh, what a weird live stream, right? Um, which I'm going to do a review on these, but these are the uh, Skull Candy Dimes. I like these. I like these. These, these are, so far, they've been solid as hell for uh, wireless earbuds. And I definitely would recommend them for 25 bucks. I definitely would recommend them. Compared to a lot of the other ones that I have, I really, really, really recommend these. Um, but I like using those over using the Pixel Buds. Now these goes for $179, and people will be like, "Well, it's, you know, it's Pixel Buds. You're a Pixel guy. Why don't you stick with them?" Problem with these things is, is that anytime that I have them on and paired with my device, uh, no matter the countless uh, software updates that these things get, it's still plagued by one major issue. And you know, if like, say, I'm sitting up right now and I pair them to my Pixel phone. If I go to the bed right over there and lay down just to lay down, relax, and listen to music or whatever, it tends to one of the buds tends to get distorted and you know have connection issues or drop connection, reconnect, drop connection, which um, you know is a problem because when you actually look in settings um, to see the pixel buds and how they're maintaining, you'll start to notice that one bud is draining battery faster than the other. So, like my you know, my right side can be like at 97%. My left side could be down to like 86, and that that's a problem. Uh, standalone, I guess, connection is, is is how these buds pair to the pixels or to any Android phone or even an iPhone. Um, but they, they tend to do that. So a lot of people are speculating that the Pixel Buds A is going to experience the same thing because the engineering of each of these buds is pretty much the same as these Pixel Buds. They use a stronger antenna. I get that. And so it may mitigate a lot of the drop connections that these were plagued with. But I think that the same thing will still kind of happen, though, with like head movement and stuff like that. Like I could not really use these at the gym. The Pixel Buds, I, I, I didn't I took them a few times. I tried. I didn't like using them at the gym. You get on a treadmill, 
you're running, you know, your, your, your body is like in constant motion and vibration and they just, they're horrible at maintaining. Plus too, since at the gym, a lot of the treadmills have Bluetooth on them already. Um, cross, uh, cross connections, it caused major interference with the pixel butts. And then that's the problem. Why is it done this way with, with Google? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. So the Pixel Buds A, the only thing that I think they do really got going for it is the price tag itself, $99 for it brand new, which means that you probably can find them at Best Buy when they're available in stores for like $89 because Best Buy will have some sort of great sale on them, and that's totally cool. Uh, I think that that's uh, probably the way that I would go or look for some sort of sale deals and things like that. Maybe it might drop to $79.99. That would be actually a steal for the Pixel Buds A. Uh, but you're going to be plagued with some sort of connection issues. I think that uh, Google really needs to go back to format and just completely redesign these uh, wireless uh, earbuds. So I'm kind of holding out fingers crossed that the Pixel Buds 3 uh, will be much better uh, design-wise. And um, of course, the, the engineering, the antennas that they want to use for it, I think that um, they should pretty much go in a different direction. Um, as something like this, okay, and this is a crazy thing. The Pixel Buds that I have are actually pretty good, and they sound pretty good, especially with the EQ controls that you have with the Pixel Buds app. That's natively with you know within Android, hidden away, so there's not really an app icon. I mean, the only phone that I know that has the app icon for the Pixel Buds app is the Pixel 2 XL. For some reason, it shows it in your app drawer. But the 3A, the 4A, the 5, they on uh, the Pixel 4. Yes, you can see it if you go in settings and apps, and you look at the list of apps, you'll see Pixel Buds app. But when you look in your app drawer, that there's no icon because it's not going to be taking up space in there. Um, but they sound good. Okay, they don't have active noise cancellation, but they do have passive. Um, and they do have an ambient sound. So you can have that turned on too, especially if you want, you know, for it to listen to the outside world and uh, kind of just, um, you know, be able to take that and uh, like it kind of drowned the sound out if it needs to, whatever. I mean, you have those features. Um, before making my point to audio, the only real major cool thing with the Pixel Buds that, I, that you'll be able to do with the Pixel Buds A, and this is something I didn't talk about in the actual video when I talked about them launching the Pixel Buds A, but um, the seamless integration with Google Translate. And that's something that I think that if you're going to travel to other countries, then yeah, you definitely want the Pixel Buds or the Pixel Buds A with you because the A has the same feature as the um, Pixel Buds 2 here. Uh, and that is using Google Translate and being able to, you know, in real time, get translation when talking to somebody. So initially what you do is, is that you keep one bud in your ear, you give one bud to somebody else for them to put in their ear. Um, why am I getting notifications right now? Jesus, shut up. Facebook, so annoying. Um, but yeah, you put one bud in your ear and you give the other person that you're going to communicate with another bud and translate is active and on. You speak, it translates what you're saying and in their ear. They'll hear what you're saying in their language, vice versa. When they speak back, your bud will be proactively hearing what they're saying. And with Google Translate, translate what they're saying and you'll hear it in your ear in real time. That is like a really, really cool feature. And the reason why that I wanted to get the Pixel Buds was just for that. If I, you know, I mean, my mom lives in Thailand. If, you know, heaven forbid, I had to go, you know, to Thailand on a, on a very personal note. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my uh, family, obviously, there, you know, they speak Thai. Uh, I don't fluently speak Thai, so in order for me to understand them, I would probably use these. Um, but that's something that the Pixel Buds A also has as well. So if you're someone who travels, uh, you might want to look into that. But again, for $179 for the Pixel Buds 2 and $99 for the Pixel Buds A, there are better replacement, not better replacement, but there are better options out there than either of the Pixel Buds. And like these, the uh, Skull Candy Dimes, you know, $25 for this. And the box is not BSing anybody. 
So if you were to go to like Target, Best Buy, or whatever, you, you get the box. On the box, it tells you um, Mighty and Mini. So Mini and Mighty. It's not lying. These things are really good for only 25 bucks. So on the Skull Candy side, I would recommend the Dimes. Okay. You can get the Sesh Evos. You can get the Indie Evos. You can get the Indie Fuels. And those are all great options too. Um, but if you want to like have great quality audio sound, the Dimes is where it's at. Uh, for JVC, the JVC Gummies are really solid too for audio listening. And they're only 30 bucks. Uh, but the Dimes from Skull Candy... I mean, stay tuned for my review on um, on my main channel. <clears throat> I'm doing a review on these, and then you'll get like the full atmosphere of it.